to get your GED. You need to leave Detroit. I'm going to send you to college because greatness is upon you. I was 16, 17 years old. I had never spoken a day in my life, and this guy saw it. Like he saw something in me that I didn't see, and he gave me permission to be where other people said I couldn't be. He gave me permission to believe I was great. He gave me permission to think I could change the world. He gave me permission to start something that had never started in my family before. He gave me permission to say, I am, I am, I am. Listen to me very closely. When you graduate and you get a job, if you want to get paid, you never say no. You never say it can't get done. Don't you ever say out your mouth it can't get done. Even if you feel in your heart it can't get done, you don't say it out loud. You let the broke folks say that. You let the folks they fire first say that. You always say it can get done. Even if you don't think it can get done, just say it and try to make up something. I'm being real. I'm being real. I don't, I don't deal with people who say, or they get paid real low in my company. They like maintenance when you say, I don't know how, or I don't think it can be done. I'm like, okay, cool. You won't be like, at the end of the year, when bonuses have been passed out, you won't be getting no bonus. What I need you to do is I need you to kill the noise. I need you to embrace the I am. And however you get it done, I need you to get it done. They looked at the most successful men and women of the world and they found that they had like seven, eight things in common. And one of the things they all had in common was a routine. They are obsessed with their routine. They don't have a gap of wasted time they routine. You know, I realized the reason why I'm so successful and the reason why I don't get in trouble like I used to when I was younger. You will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. A sword can only be formed once it goes into the fire. Do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. John Wooden You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Get busy living or get busy dying. Go for it now. The future is promised to no one. Wayne Dyer And adheres to the power of love. Warriors are dedicated. They were not only skilled, but also cultured in upholding loyalty and devotion. They aspire to hold both the pen and the sword, and be able to retreat to calmness after their challenges are done. Loyalty and devotion lead to bravery. Bravery leads to the spirit of self-sacrifice. The spirit of self-sacrifice creates trust in the power of love. In order to win their battles, Warriors must hold the purity of love in their hearts and aim to reach a state of serenity in their mind. Only then can they bring victory to their name. Mental bearing, not skill, is the sign of a matured samurai. A samurai, therefore, should neither be pompous nor arrogant. In order to master the way of the samurai, you must let go of any arrogance. If we are full of conceit, we will lose ourselves in vanity and destroy our strengths instead of our weaknesses. A true warrior knows their weakness and they work to master them. Keep your promises, fulfill your responsibilities, and stay true to your morals and values. Only then will your path of success open to you. In fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined through calm. Meet the situation without tenseness, yet not recklessly. Your spirit settled, yet unbiased. An elevated spirit is weak, and a low spirit is weak. Do not let the enemy see your spirit. Never let your enemies and challenges overcome you. 
Is any man so foolish as to fear change, to which all things that once were not owe their being? And what is it that is more pleasing and more familiar to the nature of the universe? How couldst thou thyself use thy ordinary hot baths? Should not the wood that heateth them first be changed? How couldst thou receive any nourishment from those things that thou hast eaten, if they should not be changed? Can anything else almost, that is useful and profitable, be brought to pass without change? How then dost not thou perceive that for thee also by death to come to change is a thing of the very same nature and is necessary for the nature of the universe? The hardest part is at the beginning of the journey. The rocket loses 90% of its fuel during takeoff. If you want to help yourself, carry the spirit of the child into old age, which means never losing your enthusiasm. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Confucius. At some point you will realize no one else has a say in your life unless you let them. We humans have two great problems. The first is knowing when to begin. The second is knowing when to stop. When you stop identifying with your mind, you begin to experience true freedom. Muji. You want people that are around you that have smiles on their faces, looking good. I was telling a group last week, Abraham Lincoln refused to hire a guy because of his face. They said, but the guy can't help it. He said, anybody over 30 is responsible for their face. If you have some depressing face looking at you every day, it affects your blood pressure. Keep these dead faces away from you, it's contagious. This is serious. So you've got to watch your countenance, watch your face. Have an uplifted expression, watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. You got to be the kind of person that you are fearless. Fearless. Folk leave fearless people alone. There are some people walk through a neighborhood and every dog in the neighborhood would bark at them. You ought to yourself to release your brakes. How many of you have had the experience of pulling out of your driveway and you're mashed on the accelerator and the car was just going, it couldn't move. And you mashed harder and it couldn't move. And then you discovered you had your emergency brakes on. And then you release those emergency brakes and it goes, choo. Have you ever had that experience before? Most of us go through life with our brakes on, holding back, not giving all that we have, not sharing all of ourselves. Most of us go to our graves still holding on rather than releasing it. What are some of those things that, that keep us from releasing it? Because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain. We look back, well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. <laughs> behavior. When you hear the phrase kind behavior and expressions of gratitude, you will most likely think of being kind to others and expressing your gratitude for others. While this is extremely useful and beneficial, it is equally important to be kind to yourself and show gratitude to yourself. Numerous studies have shown the positive impact kindness and gratitude have on your mental well-being and quality of life. Activities like keeping a gratitude journal and practicing random acts of kindness help you remember the good in life and help you reflect on positive situations and experiences. Strive to combat criticism with kindness and take control of your life's situation. Kindness and gratitude are always options and you have the choice to demonstrate